see it on a TV screen of the Maverick and then shoot and get, get out of Dodge. The gun and target bottom flares. So this gives us the ability to kill probably about 10, 10 boats with per team. They're going to sit there, they're going to look through them, and they're going to call all 500 and give them feedback on why they didn't get selected, right? <laughs> Take some time out uh, and, and see exactly what that we have. It's hard to date to be an airman in the United States Air Force. Tomorrow, find a way to get after this resilience. We have to find a way to help our airmen, to help our teammates bounce back. And then I came back uh, in 2007 as a senior master sergeant uh, who had recently gotten fired from a job to get 200. 1,000. 1,000. Yeah, because I agree with uh, General Goldfein that the squadrons are the beating heart of the Air Force. And uh, no better way to figure out how to make squadrons better and more effective than to get out in the field, get out across the Air Force, and ask uh, the individuals who actually work in these squadrons. And so I think uh, we've been doing a, a lot of great work. I'm really looking forward uh, to the results that the team will produce. And, and I think in the end, uh, we'll get our squadrons uh, revitalized and, 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 uh, and, you know, they'll continue to function uh, even more efficiently than they have in the past. Yeah, so uh, structurally, I don't think much has changed. There's been a few things. Uh, there's a new enlisted club, uh, that, and, and I think there's a new school, a new elementary school. But, but I tell you what's really changed, the change that I've noticed is the attitude uh, in the people that's here, uh, the attitude and the culture. Uh, we we kind of always talked about a, a fight tonight mentality, but now I think there's a true uh, fight tonight mentality. Uh, I, I like what we've done uh, outside the gate downtown, uh, but but in general, the, the the culture of the individuals here uh, that stand ready uh, to defend this 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 country and and everything that uh, you know our our nation and our partners uh, stand for. That's the biggest change that, that I've seen. So if you can use that time uh, to take care of yourself physically, mentally, uh, spiritually, and, and socially, I, I, I think uh, all of our airmen will be great. I mean, uh, we don't have the greatest facilities here, uh, but I think we have, uh, you know, between the gym and the chapel and all the other resources that we have on base, if, if our airmen can focus on those calf pillars, uh, I think they can make the best use of their time and uh, remain resilient. And I, and I like to put a special emphasis, emphasis on that social pillar. And, uh, you know, Osun is a great place uh, for airmen to connect uh, because m m uh, a great majority uh, of uh, airmen live in the dorms and uh, there are so many opportunities for you to connect with your fellow airmen, uh, have multiple wingmen and a uh, great opportunity for uh, uh, airmen to take care of each other. So I think we go back to the old wingman concept and kind of like I, I mentioned before, if if we could all take it upon ourselves to, to check on our wingmen, to take care of each other, 
uh, to make sure that you know not only uh, are, are we doing okay with respect to training and how we execute our mission, but like during those down times, like you talked about before, uh, if if we can make sure that we take care of each other as wingmen, I would ask our squadron commanders and our squadron superintendents, hey, it's up to you to create an environment where a culture and a climate where the airmen in your organization feel like they can thrive, they feel safe, they feel like they can get the help that they need. So, I mean, this is a team sport, man. And uh, you, you don't get to be the greatest Air Force in the world uh, without without being uh, team players. And, and I think if we can inculcate that attitude and that mentality across uh, all the units here on Team Osan, uh, we'll continue to be successful. That's uh, all that I have. If there's anything I can say. Uh, no, I just want to thank the, the airmen of Team Osan for the warm welcome they showed uh, Tanya and I. I had a, uh, I had a really good time uh, seeing, uh, have, getting a little bit of a deep dive into what, what uh, you do here every day. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the mission. I'm pretty excited about uh, what our airmen are, are, are doing here at, at Osan, and I'm looking forward to my next trip back. It's obvious to us in the Pentagon that the airmen here in PACAF are ready to fight tonight. You're resilient and you're the backbone to our success in this region. 
General Goldfein, myself, and your fellow airmen, we stand behind you. I want to thank you and your families for everything that you do for us every single day. Air power.